Alors ce jardin This garden hasn't been worked on, cultivated, yes, but not really worked on for about 10 years. I have a lovely rotavator which I now no longer use. I came to realize that not only was it inefficient and harmful, but also expensive to run. So now, no more digging, no more rotavator. You can see that the soil beneath is rich and full of goodness, and so fine. Anyone who knows a bit about gardening knows that you can put a lettuce in soil like this without taking anything away, just simply making a hole in the mulch and planting the lettuce. We'll see later how that's done. Looking at the structure of the soil, you can see that it falls apart into little clods, what I call lumpy soil. There are earthworms everywhere. And they are the ones who have made all the holes and made the soil light and airy. Air circulates, water circulates, and therefore the roots will do well. And these salads here have never been weeded and never been hoed. There we are, a garden without any digging and any work. And now they're great just for harvesting and ready to eat. Now these plants can be easily produced here, but some have been planted elsewhere. And of course, you can always buy them ready to plant. And they are feuille de chêne salads. And we're going to plant them straight away into the soil, space them out and plant them. Now, if it's ever so simple with this little planter. There's a few weeds, but really there's nothing to worry about. Okay, we just dig a little hole, pop them in the ground, cover them over, and it's done. So we just part the mulch and put in the plant. So look, here we've come across something which is a gardening enemy. It's a white earthworm. This particular salad looks like it's been attacked by one of these white earthworms. It happens. So there you look, you see that the roots have been eaten. And what do we have to make of all this? That uh, this mulching helps the enemy? It's possible, but it also helps the enemies of the enemy. And what's the enemy of this white earthworm? It's the mole. And people tell me quite often that the mole is an enemy of gardening. And they tell me you can't garden with, properly with a mole in the garden. But I say not at all. In this sort of garden, the mole doesn't make great big mole hills, it makes tunnels. And what does it do in these tunnels? It looks for, in a very clever way, it looks for these particular kind of earthworms which we see as the enemy. It may be that I've got very few moles in my garden because I have a cat and my cat is a very smart hunter of moles. So we have to put up with the occasional white worm, uh, the occasional enemy. But it's worth it just for this success that we can have. And so, the salad that I came across, which was eaten away, I've just replaced with another one. What I didn't know, what I couldn't have even have imagined, that this mixture of green manures, half legumes, would be so good to, rich, to enrich the soil for these, the following plants. I've been really fascinated to follow for the last two months. I've just been observing the last two months the results of this particular mixture. The first observations I made were on the strawberry patch and I saw there straight away the en enormous growth of the leaves on these plants and uh, also than usual on the plants of this size. So what I was expecting to see was a little infection on the leaves, what we call round leaf. And, but this year, not a single example of this happening. Nowhere can I see any of this uh, 
damage to the leaves. On the contrary, very large, healthy looking leaves. And anyway, the leaves only interest me because it helps to grow the fruit. And when I saw the size of, and quality of the fruit, I realized that this was the solution. And that's putting in green manures to enrich the soil for later plantations. And I can see that it's going to be really a good way of increasing the returns, the yields. And of course, the salads that are grown alongside there have mostly been harvested because they were enormous. <laughs>